Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you, and it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click survey. Psst. Hey, Smarty Pants, right now I'm in the gym working out with my trainer, Tino. Hey, I'm Tino, the trainer. Let's go, narrator. You don't build muscles gabbing with your friends. Yes, and speaking of muscles, how many muscles do you have in your body? For context, an elephant has about 40,000 muscles, 10,000 in its trunk alone. And some animals, like sea sponges, have no muscles at all. So what about you? How many muscles do you think you have? Is it A, four to six, B, 120 to 510, C, 650 to 840, or D, 1,001 to 1,360? Hey, I got 1,000 muscles in my back alone. Sorry, Tino, not quite. If you said C, 650 to 840, you're right. The exact number varies, because some groups of muscles form one complex muscle, which can be counted as one, or individually. Uh. Either way, all these muscles make up your muscular system and help you do just about everything. Uh. From pumping blood through your body, to standing up straight, to picking up your cat. You got three different types of muscles in your body. Smooth, cardiac, and skeletal. Uh. Smooth muscles are called involuntary muscles because they can do their job without you even thinking about it. I mean, how often do you remember to digest your food? Smooth muscles usually work in layers, one muscle behind the other. Smooth muscle lines your stomach, your bladder, your intestines, and your blood vessels, to name a few. Even the iris of your eye is a smooth muscle expanding or contracting to adjust your focus as the light around you becomes brighter or dimmer. Your cardiac muscle, or myocardium, relaxes and contracts to pump blood throughout your body. Your cardiac muscle works continuously without you having to think about it, circulating oxygenated blood to all your other muscles, which need oxygen to function and produce energy. Your skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles, meaning you tell them what to do. Uh. Those are muscles you use for running, jumping, playing sports, and dancing. And the harder your muscles work, the more oxygen they need. Uh. That's why when you're running, you start breathing heavier and your heart beats faster pulling more oxygen into your bloodstream and boosting your muscle energy. Which is the exact opposite of what you're doing right now? I know, but before I get back to using my muscles to lift weights, what exactly are muscles? How do they allow you to do so many different things? And how can you make your muscles bigger and stronger? It's time for another whiff of science on Smarted. Who's smarted? Who's smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science or history? Listen up, everyone. We make smarting lots of fun. But who's smarted? Hey, smarty pants. Have you ever stretched a rubber band between your fingers? If you've got one around, give it a try. Or just move your fingers and imagine you're doing it. So why are you doing this? Because muscle tissue works in a similar way. Thousands or even tens of thousands of small elastic fibers make up each muscle. These fibers are primarily made of something called myofibular proteins. 
When a nerve cell tells a muscle to get to work, thanks to a message from your brain, major muscle proteins like actin and myosin cooperate to make your muscle contract or tighten. Skeletal muscles attach to bone with the help of tough connective tissue called tendons, allowing your combined musculoskeletal system to give you strength and stability. Most muscles attach to one end of a bone, stretch across a joint, like your elbow, and attach to another bone on the opposite end, allowing them to move the joint like the hinge on a door. Many of your muscles work in pairs. One muscle contracts to bend a joint, while its counterpart pulls in the opposite direction, straightening the joint. Go ahead, make a muscle in your arm. Did you just bend your arm up? Great. That muscle in the middle of your upper arm is called your biceps. When you contract your biceps, like you just did when you made a muscle, your elbow bends. And this is how you'd lift something up, like a bowling ball. Oh boy, this ball's heavy. Now straighten your arm. What just happened? Your biceps relaxed, while a muscle on the other side of your upper arm, called the triceps, contracted. This is how you'd release the bowling ball to roll it down the lane. Your biceps are flexors, meaning to bend, and your triceps are the extensors, meaning to extend. And they work as a team around your elbow joint. These flexor extensor muscle teams are often referred to as antagonistic pairs because they work in opposition to one another. Whoa. But not all muscles work in pairs, and not all muscles attach to bone. Your tongue is only attached on one end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your tongue is only attached on one end. In fact, your tongue is actually a whole group of muscles. They allow you to lick ice cream, enunciate your words. You know you need unique New York. Or stick out your tongue at the doctor's office. Say ah. And think about all your facial muscles. Hey, smarty pants, can you raise your eyebrows? <coughs> Wink. Make a fish face. All your expressions are possible thanks to 42 individual muscles in your face. Amazing. Facial muscles don't all attach to bone. Many of them attach to other muscles or to your skin. So the smallest facial muscle contractions can help you change expressions in an instant. Ready? Do as I say. Smile. Frown. Smile. Frown. Giggle. Wink. Perfect. The smallest muscle in your body is the stapedius, a muscle in your ear which controls the vibration of the smallest bone in your body, the stapes. This stapedius stapes combo is essential to your ability to hear. As for the biggest muscle in your body, are you sitting down? If so, you're using it right now. Yep, the biggest muscle in the human body is your butt. <gasps> Medically speaking, it's your gluteus maximus, and it acts as the main extensor for your hip joint, which is critical for standing, walking, running, squatting, jumping, kicking, and dancing! You can make your gluteus maximus and many of your other muscles bigger and stronger through proper care and exercise. <laughs> The two basic principles known to enhance muscle function are hypertrophy, or the enlargement of cells, and neural adaptations, which enhance nerve-muscle interaction. Those are big words. Tino prefers picking up heavy stuff and putting it back down, or running, or dancing. When you challenge your muscles with heavy weights or resistance, it causes microscopic damage to the muscle fibers. Essentially, you sustain a minor injury. Which is why after you use your muscles, you might feel sore or stiff. But these tiny injuries are beneficial and encourage your body to repair the damage by fusing your muscle cells, increasing your muscle mass and size making you stronger. Regularly alternating exercise and rest. With balanced nutrition, of course. Nom, 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 nom. 
facilitates this process, so your body can build muscle. But you can overdo it, stretching a muscle beyond its limits or causing it to contract too forcefully, which can lead to muscle strain. Soreness good, pain bad. In mild cases, the muscle remains intact and is able to repair itself after a brief period of rest, usually a few days. But in severe cases, the strained muscle may be unable to function properly and require medical attention. That's why learning the proper form and understanding your limitations is important. Whether your favorite activity is soccer, basketball, cheerleading, hockey, or dancing! It's a good idea to get proper training, like from Tino. Hey, it's all about having good form. When you want your muscles to help you do something as simple as sitting on a sofa or as fancy as a cartwheel, your brain has to tell your muscles how to interact to complete that activity. Physical training develops neuron pathways, or connections in your brain, that improve your brain-body coordination. A lot of people refer to this as muscle memory. Simply put, your brain recruits certain muscles to contract in a particular order in order to produce a specific movement or sequence of movements. Like learning a TikTok dance. Point, turn, nod, jump, point, back, jump, turn. Doing a particular movement sequence teaches your brain to fire the correct muscles in the right order to achieve the desired motion. Practicing the movements helps them become automatic. Ah. You may not necessarily become stronger, but by learning how to activate the right combination of muscles, you can become more coordinated and your movements more efficient. But if you use bad technique, your body will remember that less than fabulous sequence and your brain will have to work even harder to correct the patterns later. Speaking of your brain, true or false, your brain is a muscle. False. Correct. Your brain is a highly complex organ containing only some smooth muscle tissue in the layer of arteries that circulates blood to oxygenate your brain. Ah. People often misinterpret the brain as a muscle because, like your muscles, your brain function can also be improved through training, challenge, and repetition. Even physical exercise directly benefits your brain by improving blood flow stimulating the growth of new cells and releasing hormones like endorphins, all of which can help boost your cognitive skills and memory. Like Tino always says, you gotta bust your butt to boost your brain. Okay, here's another one. Is your heart a muscle? Think about it while we take a quick break. Hey Smarties, Trusty Narrator here. I had a unique challenge recently. I needed to learn German for a friend's wedding in just a few weeks. That's when I found Babbel. Thanks to Babbel, I'm well on my way to holding my own in German conversations and just in time for the wedding. Babbel makes learning a new language engaging and practical. It's not just about words, it's about real conversations that you can actually use. And here's a special deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash smarted. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash smarted. It's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash smarted. Rules and restrictions may apply. Join me on this language learning journey with Babbel. Auf Wiedersehen and... Let's embrace new conversations together. Hello, Smarty listeners. Trusty here, home after a long day of smarting, and boy, am I hungry. The question is, what to cook? Do I make crispy chicken parmesan? Or yummy salsa verde enchiladas? Or mouth-watering chicken sausage spaghetti bolognese? Now, I know what you're thinking. Trusty, how can you possibly cook such amazing, delicious, restaurant-worthy meals after a long day? It's easy. Just say hello to HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit, and it is literally the best thing ever. Each week, I choose from over 45 scrumptious chef-crafted recipes online. Then, when my box arrives, I have everything I need for easy-to-make, hearty, healthy, delicious meals that I just know you and your family will love. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, HelloFresh wants to give you free breakfast for life. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash SmartedFree and use code SmartedFree for free breakfast for life. 
One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash SmartedFree with code SmartedFree. Now back to Who Smarted? So we learned your brain is not a muscle, but what about your heart? Is your heart a muscle? Yes and no. Huh? Your heart is what's known as a muscular organ. An organ is a group of tissues working together for a specific purpose. In this case, pumping blood throughout your body. However, your heart is largely made of cardiac muscle, which is what does all the pumping. So if you said your heart was a muscle, you're technically right. In fact, your heart is said to be the hardest working muscle in your whole body, but it's not the strongest. Would you believe the strongest muscle in your body is your masseter muscle? Huh? I know, you're thinking, what's a masseter muscle? Tino? Your masseter muscle runs from your cheek down to your lower jaw and is used for chewing. Nom, 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 nom. Ah. With all the muscles of the jaw working together, you can close your teeth with a force as great as 200 pounds on your molars. (gasps) That's pretty strong. But no matter how much you work out and strengthen your muscles, you'll never match the strength of one small creature. Any guess what it is? Did you say the ant? Good guess, smarty pants. The leafcutter ant can lift 50 times its own body weight. That's like you carrying around a car with your teeth. But it's not the strongest. The strongest creature compared to its body weight is the dung beetle. Huh? Dung beetles, which are about an inch long, can pull more than 1,140 times its own body weight. Whoa. That's like you pulling a polar bear on a sled. Hey, narrator, you gonna finish this set you owe me or what? Uh, How about we go dancing instead? A big shout out to our awesome fans, Layla and Madeline in Grandview, Texas. Thanks for listening. This episode, Muscles, was written by Libby Ward and voiced by Adam Tex Davis, Kim Davis, and this guy, Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Max Muscles for Days Kamaski. The theme song is by Brian Suarez, with lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This is an Atomic Entertainment production. Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you, and it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click Survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click Survey.